Okay, so I decided to do a video here about a uh, problem that I encountered when I started working on improving uh, search engine optimization or SEO. And one of the problems that I ran into, aside from a little coding issues on the page that had to be cleaned up, was the default um, character encoding on the page. So I started researching that and got some interesting uh, things about it. Well, let me show you what I was getting. Okay, I'm using the uh, W3C uh, validator and my character language content declaration inside the web page is uh, UTF-8, which is what it should be. And that's what, uh, if you go through Google's Webmaster Tools, they'll tell you that <clears throat> UTF-8 is preferred. Problem was, whenever I copied my home page back up to my uh, host at Bluehost, uh, it would then change it, and I would get these errors. And it said that I was actually using Windows-1252 or... ISO 8859-1. Making a very long story short, what I found out is that it doesn't matter how you have your page encoded internally. It's the exterior server that's actually presenting that page that can change that. So I, I dug around and I realized I'm not going to go into this a whole lot because uh, if you're watching this video, you probably want a solution. Uh, and if you're like me, you're probably uh, pulling your hair out. So, and that's exactly what <clears throat> I was doing. I might, while I'm talking here, just slip in a little bit of the uh, recording that I did the other night. I finally got to the point where I made the changes, corrected all the errors, and could not get rid of this. When I first created my site on Webhost, or on Bluehost, if I named my file anything beside default.html, the website wouldn't come up. So I don't know if that was a DNS entry somewhere on one of their servers or what. But for years, I've had my website for about four years. And in that four-year period of time, I was never able to name the homepage index.html. So it's always been default.html. And that worked just fine. It wasn't a problem. And I was able to get rid of all my little coding errors and all that kind of thing. So that's not really an issue. But it got down to the point that I really needed to get rid of this because for the best possible SEO, I really needed to get the language encoding in line with UTF-8. And I tried and I tried and I tried. I was using Notepad++ to do uh, a lot of my editing, and I thought, well, maybe that's changing the encoding, and I checked the settings in there, and it wasn't. I've also used Dreamweaver, and I thought, well, maybe Dreamweaver's uh, better for editing that, so I would edit with Dreamweaver, upload the file, and then go over to the uh, validator, and the validator w might initially say it was encoded as UTF-8. But then if I went back over to Bluehost and did any editing in the file and then went back to the validator, it would come up with this, that it was using the Windows 1252 or ISO 8859-1. Okay, so that was a real frustration. So I started Googling it, obviously, and saw a... a massive number of threads about this and all kinds of solutions and all kinds of technical things. Finally got online with Bluehost tech support, which they were nice. They're trying to be helpful. Like I said, I might slide a piece of that video in. I did record it. After, I don't know how it was, how long it was. It must have been maybe close to two hours. Uh, they kind of threw up their hands and said, that's an external coding issue, and they just do the servers, and, and they couldn't help me. And so, I, so I thanked them and decided to retry it. So I came back over 
<clears throat> to Dreamweaver and redid my page, did some final changes, had to do some tweaks. When I did that, I uploaded it. And again, I'm back to this. So I finally uh, went back to Google and the search string that I put in, I'll try to show that here in a second. Maybe I'll get a, a look at it. I finally found this. This is uh, Bluehost's uh, help files, which I found by Googling it, not by looking inside their system. And what I found was very, very interesting. These are instructions on the character sets, and it talks about the 8859-1, which is the default, which is interesting because Google, uh, with their webmaster tools and SEOs, uh, really uh, focusing on UTF-8. And both of them work. There's, there's not a problem with either one, but I really kind of got hung up on really wanting to not have any errors. So anyway, I read through this and came down to uh, this, of course, the, the declaration has to be in uh, the, the page, which is there. But as I read down through it, it talked about putting the lines in the HT uh, access file, which I already had. This is uh, an entry here for the HT access file if you're going to have pages that don't display uh, Western encoding. But then I got down to this. If you're using default.html as the index or home page, our Apache configuration overrides the content for this file, sets it to ISO 8859-I or one, whatever it is, no matter what. And the fix is you have to rename the file index.html or index.htm. Why tech support could not tell me that? I don't know. It wasn't in their book to look up. So now I had had problems with naming my home page index.html. Every website I'd ever been to prior to that always had index.html as the name. So today I did a little experiment and I went over and I renamed my home page index.html. just for fun. And then when I ran the check on it, bam, I no longer have the encoding error. But if you have a Bluehost account, or maybe you're dealing with this on another uh, server, uh, this might work for you. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is an issue with other providers or not. Uh, they're using Apache servers. I think specifically it's uh, an Nginx. Uh, server actually but when I renamed it to index.html I changed to nothing else except for the name of the page and when I did that the errors went away and I started out with four pages of errors most of them were minor uh, and I was able to clear those up very rapidly but when I changed the name of the file the uh, 8859-1 or Windows 1252 error went away. So if you're having that problem, take a look at your site structure. Um, this might be an issue if your sir, if your uh, provider, your ISP out there is actually using uh, H Apache servers or is doing something similar. So anyway, hopefully this will give you a shorter path to finding an answer if you're dealing with that. May not work in all circumstances, but it definitely it's one of those things that after two weeks and probably 60 hours or so of trying to find a solution, it took like 30 seconds to fix it. So, all righty, if you like this, give me a thumbs up on that. Uh, hopefully it will help you and uh, have a good one.